Traditional risk factors for coronary artery disease include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cigarette smoking, um, and an early onset of premature family history of coronary artery disease. You know, growing up and everything, my family's had heart disease and everything. I've always wondered, you know, I didn't want one, but I always wondered what a heart attack was like. And now I know. And without hesitation, it was done. Mr. Pittman uh, presented uh, with classic signs of a heart attack. He was quickly taken to our cardiac catheterization lab where he underwent a procedure to evaluate his coronary arteries. During this procedure, we found a complete blockage of one of his branches of, of a major blood vessel. And being that this was the major blockage and the cause of his symptoms, I proceeded to perform what's called a coronary intervention, where we place small wires past the area of blockage, balloon dilate the blood vessel that is blocked, and then place a stent, which is a metal scaffolding in the artery that keeps the artery open long term, and in this particular case, stopped his heart attack and restored blood flow to the heart. Well, compared to uh, no blood hardly pumping, and blood pumping makes a lot of difference. I mean, it's just totally different, your body feels, because I didn't realize it, that I was that bad off until that happened, and then he went in and opened him up, and then I got good blood flow, and I thank Dr. Faulkner for saving my life.